a terrifying scene at one of America's biggest churches. I started screaming, there's a shooter, there's a shooter, there's a shooter. We hid about uh, 10 of us, 10 adults in a closet. Um, and uh, there was one child in there and uh, no vent, but we were all praying. An armed woman entered Pastor Joel Osteen's megachurch in Houston on Sunday afternoon and opened fire. She was armed with a long rifle and a trench coat with a backpack, accompanied by a small child, approximately four to five years old. Houston's police chief, Troy Finner, says two off-duty law enforcement agents working security at the church confronted the woman, getting the situation under control. She's deceased here on the scene. I want to commend those officers. She had a long gun, and it could have been a lot worse. But they stepped up and they did, they did their job, and I want to thank them for that. However, the child who came to the church with the woman was also shot. Unfortunately, a five-year-old kid was hit and is in critical condition at our local hospital. The chief says it is unclear who fired the shot that struck the child, and the child's relationship to the suspect is still unknown, according to police. The officers involved in the shooting told investigators the woman claimed to have a bomb, but an immediate search found nothing. We searched her vehicle, our bomb squad, um, and also the backpack. No explosives were found, but she was also spraying some type of substance on the ground. Witnesses described a chaotic scene. My mom was, was screaming, and then my mom said, come, come, and we ducked because the, the while I called my mom, the bullets were still repetitive, and they were still going, and the attacks were in the sanctuary. One bystander was injured. That was a 57-year-old man who didn't have anything to do with it, I don't think, was shot in the leg. He's seeking treatment in the hospital. Pastor. Pastor Osteen says he's thankful the shooting did not happen earlier in the day. I can only imagine if it would have happened during the 11 o'clock service. You know, if there's anything good of it, you know what, they, 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 she didn't get in there and do a whole lot worse damage. And he's left hoping the decades-old church will continue holding services without another scare like this. We're gonna stay strong. We're gonna to continue to, to move forward. And there are forces of evil, but the, the forces that are for us, the forces of God are stronger than that.